Well, the race for U.S. Senate is heating up Tuesday. Democrat Missourian selected Lucas Coons to represent the party in November. Coons with a big challenge ahead, running against Senator Josh Hawley, who ran unopposed in the Republican primary. KQ2's Courtney Rowe had the chance to sit down with Coons to discuss his campaign. Missouri Democratic voters turned out on August 6th and elected Lucas Coons to be the nominee for U.S. Senate. We've been building towards this for a long time. We built a real coalition here in the state. The AFL-CIO endorsed me. You know, labor organizations are really big to me and my family. I'm really proud. Uh, we had a bunch of firefighters there at our rally, uh, our election winning rally. And, you know, the firefighters have endorsed Mike Kehoe. They endorsed Eric Schmidt, but they endorsed me because they love my record of service in the Marine Corps and the way that I grew up. Coons now turning his attention toward the November general election, running against incumbent Republican Josh Hawley. I'm not scared at all. I'm a Marine. I was a Marine for 13 years. I deployed to Iraq. You know, I've been outside the wire plenty of times. Coons says ultimately he wants to put the power back into the hands of everyday Missourians. I want to fundamentally change who has power in this country. That's why I don't take the money from corporate PACs, federal lobbyists, big farm executives. I think that they truly have been buying off our politicians who then let those companies strip our communities for parcel. I promise right now I'm going to vote to codify Roe versus Wade. I will vote to protect in vitro fertilization and I will vote to protect contraception because that's how everyday people get power over their own lives. I think we're smart enough to make our own decisions about our bodies and about our health care. Holly kicking off his campaign earlier in the week, challenging Coons to a debate at the Missouri State Fair. But now it sounds like that might not be the case. You know, I've proposed five, uh, five televised debates that everybody can see. The state fair won't actually let you debate on the state fair grounds, and so now we don't have that opportunity. Missourians have a real contrast in this election. Whether they want to vote for me or vote for him, whether they believe that politicians should control every aspect of your lives. Reporting in St. Joseph, Courtney Rowe, KQ2 News. The general election is November 5th. We'll continue to cover the race for Senate all the way up to Election Day.